Hello and good evening from rainy California. And I am here with today's <coughs> hot topics. Kathy, Kathy Griffin, I adore you. You were one of my greatest comedic influences. I met you. You are absolutely lovely. <coughs> Sorry. But it's time for you to stop making your manager, your husband, your manager. Because, girl, this is the second time you've had to fire and divorce them. The first time was Matt when he stole $70,000. I remember from your book, Pepperidge Farm Remembers. Now, I thought you had found a pink toe with a purse, but apparently he's broke as a he hang because he was your manager too. Now, I know you cheat and you're trying to keep money in the household. Some things you need to go on and pay for, and you may need to pay for some peen while you're at it. He was so much younger, but ooh, you odd looking thing. Eyes real close together. I see why you had to dump him. But I'm going to wish you well. I'm going to wish you well. Oh, and I can't believe I, I am in agreement with uh, Meek Mill, and I'm going to wish him well, too. But he has finally blocked DJ Academics after going back and forth online for weeks. And I think that's what we all need to do. I think that we have had a, heard enough squeaks from Jerry the Mouse. I'm tired of it. I am blocking you. You're only here to troll to try to maintain relevancy. You are a DJ, but what do you actually create? Where are your hits? I, I don't I, I don't understand your point or your purpose. Just large and here for no reason, taking up space. But what's going to be taking up some space for uh, Nicki Minaj and Kenneth Petty is a $500,000 default judgment that was just awarded to them Friday in Los Angeles County Superior Court. They'll also tell your business. So apparently they attacked this man, Thomas Weidenmuller, uh, some security guard in Germany, uh, where or this happened in Germany in 2019, and he finally got his default judgment today. Seize those assets. Take it right to Wells Fargo. You got a judgment. You can get that coin. And I hear she's broke as a joke anyway. Oh, yes. And think about it. She's got to pay him $500,000, which really means she has to make a million because you got to pay taxes. Mm, mm, mm. I'm happy for him. A $500,000 Friday. In Housewives of Beverly Hills news, Lisa Renna isn't interested in returning. Why? You were so good at that. I felt like you had found your space to be, you know, your most angular white woman. Like you exceeded in that role. You shined. I, I, I like it when white women lean into their white women. And you definitely did that with an angle and a, and a, and a scar tissue filled lip. But uh, you gave us eight years of wonderful television, Lisa. So I wish you well in your next endeavors. You're not a bad actress. I'll say that too. You're not a bad actress. In good news, Karen Pittman is leaving. And just like that, before season three premieres, I felt that character was just shoehorning a black woman in there because it's like, we've got to have diversity. I'm like, y'all can live in your little white world. There are white people that are related to other white people and have white friends. Well, I It felt very Jane Goodall for me, you know, pink toes in the mist and whatnot. But uh, that role just, I, I feel that she's much better on the morning show. I like her on the morning show. That role was like, why are we here? But she got a new uh, lead in a Mara Brock Akil production as well. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. But I'm not looking forward to it just like that. I'm going to watch it. Because a check is a check, but um, I don't enjoy it at all. And speaking of a check and it is a check, Carly Russell going to have to cough up a check for $18,000 because she was found guilty. <clears throat> she was found guilty for faking her own kidnapping and also got 12 months probate. And probate is expensive. I found out you have to pay for probation. You got to pay for your anklet. You got to pay these people. I'm like, damn. 
Isn't the punishment enough? I got to look at you and I got to pay you. That's awful. But, you know, if you don't think on your kidnapping, you won't owe thousands of dollars. So try that. I know I have. I think I couldn't think of kidnapping. Ain't nobody looking for me. <laughs> They'll be like, hey, I'll post a video in a few days. He'll pop up. <laughs> and I would. In Housewives of Orange County news, I, I, I let's see if I can get this a picture of this heifer. We've got to talk about Shannon Jowls Bador. Jowls Bador. I, I did not know you could get a facelift for $75,000. But according to page six, this face, cost $75,000. She paid $75,000 to look like that. $75,000. $75,000 American dollars that she borrowed from the man in the picture. $75,000 thousand dollars did you see seventy five thousand dollars i saw some some jowls that were well made up that's what i saw i saw a little bit of jigsaw like it had kind of a, a little tennis ball in each cheek but i didn't see seventy five thousand dollars maybe five maybe five because you did get I, I did see a little more definition here maybe five $75,000, that's embarrassing. It's sad and it's embarrassing. But now your ex who is with another Real Housewife is uh, making this a plot line because he's suing you for the $75,000. He is dragging this into court. He said, not only am I gonna stay on the show, but I'm gonna get a chunk of your season fee. I'm gonna get my 75 grand. Damn. Damn. Also, if that's your man, why are you borrowing $75,000? He can't give you $75,000 to get your face done. He got to look at it. He never cared about you. One, he should like your face as is if he actually going to like you. But if you're going to get your face done, he couldn't pay for it. What kind of loser are you dating? I thought they had wealthy men in Orange County, but then again, with your jowls dragging the ground, I guess that's where your standards are too. <laughs> I wouldn't tell, I would go to my grave before I let anybody know I paid good money to be jowls the door. Oh my goodness. In more out-of-touch pink toe news, why did they title this article this? Save on Martha Stewart's lightweight sketchers she keeps in every car. And they have every car in quotations. Like, we got to remind you, this heifer has a fleet of cars. Like, y'all could just advertise the dang slip-on sketches because don't nobody want to bend over no more. The world is too much effort to tie a shoe. I'm sorry. You got to be looking for, you know, you never know when somebody going to walk around with a pew pew and try something. So I need to keep my head on swivel, not trying to, you know, do a double knot. So I get it. I get it. But we don't need to know. I like, are you going to tell us each and every car she has and try to get some more advertising in there too? Sorry. But what wasn't sorry was the trailer for the Housewives of Photo Mac reunion. And we learned a lot. We have learned that, most of all, Ashley wants to keep her coot while Mia has kicked out her coot. Now, I want to know whose penal screenshots are out there. Where they at, though? Where they at? Because if Chris's penis is out there, that's a problem. Unless, I, but I could see Candace sending it to somebody with her dumb butt. She's just immature enough to do something like that. Just immature enough. Uh, Candace calling Robin a loser. Perfection. Perfection. And then Giselle saying, Giselle's an imp. Giselle's the devil. Giselle is evil. All true. And you, I, I've met you. 
I, you are pretty, but I could see you morphing into an imp. I could see it. I could see it. And your behavior is impish. Your behavior is imp-esque. Oh, Lord, my computer just went from day to night. I was like, oh, am I having a stroke? <laughs> oh, my God. Scare the hell out of you. <laughs> Everything just got done. Ah, oh, well, those were today's top stories from this bottom, but I will see you soon for some.